Vena, vena, castan, and only for the zombies, and he had, and he had, in this video I'm going to talk through how I've decided to base one of my armies, in this case my 28mm undead army. Talk about the thoughts and the ideas I've had about the army, about the world, and then the choices for the different items that I've got, um, and go through where they're available and how I put it all together. Okay, so my undead world is a world of cracked, dried and desolate graveyards and crypts. So to get that across, everything is going to be grey and brown, and that even comes down to things like the static grass I'm going to use. This is uh, dead grass from Games Workshop. Nice, simple product, easy to use, easy to get hold of. There will be some tufts, there will be some pieces, pieces of grass managed to cling on to life. So here I'm going to use Winter Tuft from Army Painter. These are very good to use, very simple. Come on a a little tray, sort of self-adhesive piece of material, pluck those off, super glue them into place, very easy to use, look great, instant instant goodness. Also um, there's going to be things growing up some of the terrain, so we've got here Poison Ivy, this is another great product from Army Painter, and here it comes as a kind of vine or whole creepers worth of leaves and that can be broken up and put on bases or have clinging to obelisks or crypt doors so another great product there then to add a bit of colour you don't want too much but to add a bit of colour I found this product and this is from Fala it's a railway modelling product but it's little bunches of uh, violet flowers, which anyone who knows about my army will know that makes sense. And although this sheet comes on a piece of static grass, a sheet of static grass, a pair of tweezers will easily pluck out just the flowers. And um, now I'll show you what that looks like in close up. So, in this space, we've got a combination of all elements. We've got actually got some bits of slate here just to add, bring in some colour of grey and stone that will be appearing elsewhere. We've got a little bit of puddles of dead grass and here we have a couple of bunches of the violets. Again just thinking about where they would grow, they'd grow where the water might collect which is running off the stones here, just making it look a little bit more believable. 